Hello, my name is Maria Jalakar. Welcome to my show, Let's Talk About History. I'm here today at the Buckingham Hello, my name is Maria Jalikar. Welcome to my show, Let's Talk About History. I'm here today at the Buckingham Memorial where the city of Norwich historian, Dale Plummer, has his office. There's going to be a speaker speaking on the Civil War. So we're going to go inside the Buckingham Memorial and take a listen. I hope you enjoy my show. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, All right. right. Hello. Um, I'm here with Dale Plummer, the Nor city of Norwich historian. And Dale, can you give me a brief description as to the meeting tonight? Okay. Tonight is a meeting of the uh, Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War, uh, Sedgwick Camp Number 4. Are these descendants of Civil War soldiers from Connecticut? Well, some of them are uh, Civil War soldiers from elsewhere as well. Uh, there are people in the area whose ancestors fought in the Civil War on the Union side. Uh, the Grand Army of the Republic was in this building from 1898 until 1936. Um, after the Grand Army of the Republic died out, or as it was dying out, um, uh, children of them, of the uh, Union veterans, uh, started to organize uh, Sons of Union veterans posts. Uh, there was one here for a while, and then it um, uh, died out. Uh, we're now reviving it. Uh, we have a number of members. Uh, we're meeting on a regular basis, and uh, glad to be um, doing this here in a very appropriate setting, the Civil War home of Governor Buckingham. Mm -hmm. Do you have an email address if there are people that might be interested in joining uh, your group? There is a, a Facebook page, um, and I'm not sure what... Uh, if they but look up um, New England Civil War Museum on okay. Facebook, uh -huh. or the Alden Skinner post mm -hmm. in, in Rockville. Mm -hmm. uh, they're both in Rockville. They have been working with us to reestablish the, the uh, uh, camp here. Okay. So I would so say, or post. What um, day of the month do they meet here at Buckingham <coughs> Memorial? Well, we've been meeting uh, once a month on a Wednesday. It, it has varied somewhat depending mm -hmm. on people's schedules, mm -hmm. uh, but we will be, you know, letting people know what, you know, the regular schedule is as we, as we move along. We're pretty new. Okay. We really and what is the address here? This is 307 Main Street. Okay. And Alrighty. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Dale. Okay. So um, we're going to listen in on their meeting and. I hope you enjoy my show. Thank you. All right, good. And you may want I, to yeah. interview our um, <coughs> Hello. I'm here with Matt Reardon. 
at the Buckingham Memorial. And Matt, can you tell me a little bit about what part you're playing in the Civil uh, War um, meeting tonight? Um, I'm actually the commander of Sedgwick Post Number 4, Sons Union Veterans of the Civil War, here in Norwich. It's, um, I was one of the chief organizers, or the reestablishing of this camp. It's been extinct for about 75 years. Mm -hmm. So we brought it back last year, and I'm, okay. I'm the commander, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. And do you have an email address if anyone's interested in joining and is interested in the Civil War? Uh, yes, I'm also the executive director of the New England Civil War Museum in Rockville. Uh, any email inquiries can be addressed to at uh, necwm at hotmail.com or just through our website. Okay, okay, Matt. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. Chaplain, will you lead us in a prayer? Our Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fill us with all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, a good one. Amen. Uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, here we all are again. This is our first actual meeting of, actually, our officers were properly sworn in, and so I'm glad to see everyone's come back. Some of our newer members did not come back, though. Hopefully we'll see them. We'll see them in soon. Uh, I'm going to make this really, really quick today. I don't really have a lot to talk about. Um, I'm going to do my treasurer report. We have, um, we tried to open up an account today, a checking account, so we can collect dues. Uh, that attempt was unsuccessful because they needed a lot more information from me than I had with me, um, including bylaws. Have we talked about bylaws at all? No. Um, the Sun's national organization, what it does is it actually provides you like a, what do you call it, a template form. And what I think I'll do is I'll bring, I'll see if I can kind of merge Rockville Camp's ones and kind of modify it to fit ours, and I'll bring it down here. We can, we can vote on that next time so we can have bylaws. The only thing that about the bylaws I'm not too sure about is we keep changing our meeting dates. We may have to talk more about that later. Um, we would like to get dues today if you have them. We are a little bit behind on that. Um, I don't believe there are minutes, right, Chris? There are no minutes no. from the last meeting. It wasn't really a meeting per se. It was mostly just swearing in the officers. Uh, so with that, Senior Vice Commander Plummer, do you have anything to report? Uh, but no. Junior Vice Commander? Not at this time. Treasurer report. Not at this time. Oh, that was me. I'm the treasurer, too and I kind of gave it above. Um, committee reports, we have the membership committee, which I think, John, you were, and we have the preservation committee. Um, anything? No report. No report. Uh, preservation committee, um, the inventory on the Sedgwick Post items is about halfway done. I've been waiting for Alan Crane, one of our me brother members here, to come up to the museum with me to help me inventory some of the military items, which I wasn't too familiar with. I think, Dale, we talked about the, all the non-Civil War items that we did find, what we were going to do with them. They're still in safekeeping in Rockville, and they'll remain there until we can figure out what to do with them. What was there a Spanish-American War? Spanish-American War, um, some other fraternal society items, um, and some not, a lot of non-Civil War books that we, we kind of pulled for just in case they were. Rockville, we just don't have the room to keep all this stuff. Well, the, the non civil war books, I think, apply to even library that members of the VAR readers, you know, when they were meeting here or when they were hanging out here, they would bring the book books. And, you know, it's kind of like a library. Is there
is there any, I mean, what should we do? Should we bring them back there? I, we purchased some uh, containers to put them in. So if we were to bring them back in the attic, they would it'd be safer than the, the boxes they were in before. Is it the possibility of maybe maybe selling them and raising money for the building fund? That might be a possibility too. Some of them are pretty old. There are a lot of 1830s, 40s. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. We did find out recently at the Civil War Museum, we've had a lot of um, people. We had the chief historian for Arlington National Cemetery come up the other day. And him and I were talking about some of the Norwich things up there that we didn't quite know what they were. And uh, the pike that we recovered, the long, what looked like a pike or a halprin, was actually a flagpole. It's a decorative flagpole. Maybe it may have actually carried the banner for the post here. We don't know for sure. Uh, the hand spike, the hand spike, we, Chris and I went down to the cannon downstairs. The hand spike that we weren't quite sure where it came from came from this cannon. It fits perfectly where it should be. Do we, do we know where the case on or anything else, the sponge rammer? Is that? We've seen pictures of it. I actually the other day found a picture of guys sitting on the front porch. Sitting on the front porch out there. It was on a postcard that was for sale on eBay. The, right out here. the one out, the, out here. Yeah, the, you know, the, the one we've often thought about after reading the minutes of them eating beans and drinking coffee, that they may have actually went out and sat on the porch and, you know, did the same out there. There's actually possibly a couple of veterans sitting on the porch out there. Um, a building update? Do we have a building update as far as anything related to the s status of the building, the roof? No, it doesn't get any better. Um, you know, I think the uh, uh, basic problem is that we're in a holding pattern. The city has a lease which they're allowed to expire, but it continues on. No, it's fine. So, when I first got elected a couple of about three years ago, I had a meeting at some point, and I think I have all the information up in uh, my office, that was uh, uh, with the Attorney General's office because they hold some paperwork on that and the mayor to see if we could start fixing the building because one of the things that I always heard when I was around that people wanted to get this building back up to what it was. It's really a, an asset for the city of Norwich, not necessarily for city government, but for the city at large. Right. Meaning, I don't mean the government piece, I mean the city at large. To have a building that was the governor's building, I think that, that you know, it's got a lot of really good things in it. So if I I'll check in my office when I go back up there this week and see if I have all of the documents that they brought with them that talked about the lease, how things were run, what had to be done. Uh, and I don't have anything on, I, I, I might have something on some building repairs because uh, the mayor brought up uh, uh, Barry Ellison too. Oh yes. So I might have something on that. Uh, you know, but I was really trying to figure out a way that we could have, in some manner, some some ownership or some responsibility for the building. And at that point, you all weren't meeting, so uh, I really am, you know, glad that you are because I'd like to help out to find some ways to get this sort of back up and and running. Uh, but.
me get that information. Okay. If I can, I'll make copies. Do you want me to drop it off to you? Are you? Uh, so good with you, Gail. I'll be back next month. Anyway, so. Okay. So, so um, that way we can continue moving forward. I'd really like to see the this come back up and be sort of what it was. Well, and I think that you know it's pretty. Clear. I, I, I did meet probably six months ago. Or so with the uh, state attorney general's office. And they said at that point that the Buckingham Memorial Association still exists, but it exists primarily to transfer its assets to another entity um, as far as they're concerned. It, it really has been dissolved otherwise by the, uh, the state. Um, so their preference seemed to be if there was a way of having Buckingham Memorial Association transfer the assets without the state being involved to Correct. some other entity, um, or they could, if need be, reach in and do that themselves, take it from you know, a dissolved corporation and so forth. Their preference would be not to, not to do that. Um, I suppose another alternative would be to try to resuscitate Buckingham Memorial Association, but right now it consists of two members, uh, very elderly. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, think, I don't think either one of them. So anyways, I just wanted to let you know that I hadn't had that meeting. I think they yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I think, and, and I'll check, but I, I think that the Norwich Historical Society um, was trying to get money, and I thought that they did, to have somebody do a look at this building uh, in terms of structure, uh, electrical. Okay. Yeah, and I don't. I'm wondering what the. Uh, the I, I know that they did that. I don't know that I know the the results of that, but I think that would be important to know right. for what what direction you're going to go forward here. Well, they did a study that was published in 2010. Oh, this is more recent than that. Oh, really? I, I thought they were trying to do it last year or this year. Huh. I'll check with Bill uh, Champagne and uh, I'll, I'll let you know. But you know, one of the uh, one of the provisions when Buckingham Memorial was created was that the building and all the contents were transferred to the new organization with the intention of there always being a exhibit here um, continuing the heritage of the you know, Civil War. Should be done, right. but unfortunately, because of the condition of the collection and the perilous nature, and the perilous condition of the roof, we got Troy's permission to move that material to the um, New England Civil War Museum, where at least it's safe, it can be cataloged and conserved, and then hopefully, you know, returned here once the building something can be done with the building. We have. Uh, $125, which means something got to start somewhere. And uh, what's the first project? The five foot high mural painting of um, General Sedgwick. It was actually painted by a Civil War veteran right after he was killed. But it used to hang in here somewhere. But. Can I ask everybody's name? I apologize. I don't know everybody. <laughs> no, I apologize. I should have welcomed you too. Normally in the beginning, I should have welcomed you, and I apologize for not welcoming you. So, I'm Kathy Austin. I'm the senator for the area. I think that that's why Dale wanted me to come. So. I'm Matt Beard. I'm the manager of the Civil War Museum. And also the director of the New England Civil War Museum. Okay, so. And a teacher. I know. Okay. A welcome teacher. All right, Chris Douglas. And you're the treasurer? Okay. You're our secretary, I think, the right? Secretary. No, 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 you're, you're, don't be humble. You're our junior vice command. Oh, oh okay. Typically, <laughs> the person in charge of membership. Yeah. Dale Farmer, city historian. And? 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 And uh, senior vice command. Vice command. <laughs> Father Nicholas Gellerman. Uh, Jack Jack Clinton. Clinton. Yeah. Okay. And Vic 
Butch and something I don't know who it was. Maria Jolliker, thank you. We usually have a couple other members here, too. I'm not sure who's I think this is, our, this is our core group here that's here. Well, or actually, we grew pretty fast for, you know, for only about a year or so. Yeah. I mean, we grew faster than the other, my, my home camp up in Rockville. Well, it's also the end of July, so I don't know what it's Yeah, yeah, I'm not blaming. I'm just saying, we, you know, we did pretty well as we started off. like to bring up the discussion about the 18th Connecticut block again. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You got a national police call. Uh, Connecticut City Hall is a filthy block, but tell us what you thought was the fact of the 18th Connecticut volunteers. It says that it was um, placed there in September or whatever of 1938, but I'm not sure it was ever actually into place because the 38 hurricane happened just before it was supposed to be dedicated. Uh, it looks pretty untouched by weather and so on. So our thought was it would be nice to actually place that out in the area. The Civil War uh, campground was actually out where Fairground Circle is and that whole little development. Up by the golf course on the hill. Yeah. 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 And, and where that whole little complex. Yep. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So you want the plaque outside someplace, or do you want it to be in City Hall someplace? Well, it might be appropriate if it were out somewhere near the actual uh, the, the camp. Said, you know, the, the camp is located here. Right here. No, on, on, the, on the plaque, it has the, the camp was located. Oh. So it was intended to actually go near the site. Okay. I'm thinking possibly Three Rivers, because that's very near where the campground was. Campground eventually became uh, the New London. Well, actually, no, it was the New London County Fairground. Fairground, yeah. And then it became the Elks um, Park or whatever, and then it became a um, housing development. Um, okay. I don't know if part of it. Put it in somebody's front yard. <laughs> well, the problem with putting it in someone's front yard is that then you're you're in danger of no, that's someone deciding that they don't want it. I think Three Rivers is probably the place to put it. So I'm on the Three Rivers Foundation Board, I could ask. Oh, okay. And ironically, on the plaque, it was supposed to be put up by our group in 1938. Okay. It says Sedgwick Camp Number 4 on it already, so it's almost like it was destined for us to put it up. Okay. So maybe our motto could be, we'll get to it eventually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Only hurricanes can deter us. <laughs> so maybe we could do a whole story on it then. Yes. It could be a story in the bulletin. We could bring reenactors too. I, we have to send it to the 18th Connecticut. They were infantry. Oh, darn. <laughs> darn. Well, <laughs> the officers had horses, right? The officers had horses. Yes. No, I don't want to be an officer. I wanted to ride a horse. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first Connecticut cavalry, they were formed in the central Connecticut, I think, right? They were. Well, they were from all over the state, but um, they. Yeah, Meriden was the Meriden place. was where they, their campground was. Charlie Farnsworth. Um, Civil War cavalry uh, units around? Reenactors? They're mostly scattered and they kind of bring themselves together for bigger events. The actual mounted cavalry? Yes. They were mounted that were at the. Well, I mean, there's two different kind of Civil War cavalry reenactors. I call them the mounted and the unmounted, but they call themselves the dismounted. Oh, okay. They don't have horses, but they portray cavalry. Oh, okay. And a lot of the guys who do mounted cavalry and they do a decent impression, they're usually all scattered out and like for like a national event themselves together and form one group. Oh, okay. It's quite impressive to see all the guys in one I'm just skimming through our old minutes. We're going to go into a second to um, old business. Do we have any old business? Or was that pretty much? Yeah. I ask only because I unfortunately missed. Um, did, did the cemetery thing go good? Or did you guys? <laughs> did 
Nick, would you like to? It was great. <laughs> it was great. It was a rousing success. Everyone who was there had a great time. Oh, um, all one of you? Yeah, it was me. <laughs> oh, and uh, <laughs> and all the flags were out though, but um, I don't know whether another group before you got there. Yeah. trying to get it so that you came down, you didn't have to come down in two days, uh, in two or three days apart. And, May is and always I had asked. Well, yeah, that was very unfortunate. I was not there to do the... And we had the Lincoln train ride. Day. Train ride. We were in Franklin doing that over there. Lincoln up here. Great decoration there. We'll try again next year. Next year so we'll much better. We'll try to coordinate <laughs> it ahead of time. So that we you know, let's put that... Let's put that Let's always have it under old business. That way, we always bring it up. Yeah. Well, I can see if we can place it there. It's it's approximately, it's probably about as big as this. Okay. Maybe a little small. Well, what would you want it on? You want it pretty much secured to something. Yeah. There, there is a, a rock. That? That's the Great Plains uh, battlefield. Yeah. You know, the Indian battle between the but I mean, and the Narragansetts. I don't know if it wants to do something like that. Or In terms of, yeah. I mean, the area. area. Could we put it on the same rock? It might be better to separate. Somebody's going to steal it, they're probably going to get it. But if we put it someplace, keep in the back of our minds to put it someplace semi well lit, maybe well traveled, so well, this it would just maybe hopefully deter somebody saying, well, I need some quick cash and that'll work. No, I think the, I think the theater of those campuses actually would be good. Like they have well security. You know, they've got a couple of bronze plaques out there now that haven't you know, been there for years. And they have traffic going by there, you have people parking in the parking lot. Safe as there is in It's on uh, New London Turnpike. It's actually a good. It's a nice campus. And they yeah. do. A, they do do a lot of things outside at the campus too. They do a lot of different events, uh, and they use that outside arena or outside field uh, to uh, set up. Shot out of the cannon. 